The Supreme Court ruling today that Texas may not for now ex execute a death row inmate unless his pastor can touch him and pray aloud in the execution chamber. This decision stems from Corpus Christi resident turned convicted murderer John Henry Ramirez. Yeah, he's been on death row since 2008 after being convicted of killing a convenience store clerk in 2004. For the better part of 15 years, he's filed a series of appeals, all but this one were denied. Today's decision now signals the end is near for John Henry Ramirez. I visited Ramirez twice on death row. Here's a look at uh, what he shared with me back then. I'm not going to ask them to forgive me because, you know, I think about it and I don't know how I would react if someone killed a, a close family member, a, you know, a father or, a, you know, somebody, a brother, you know, I, and I don't expect them to forgive me, you know what I mean? Um, I know it's hard, I know spiritually or, or, or in their belief, not too many people are that far along, and so um, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to ask them to forgive me, but I just wanted to ask them, them know that I was sorry. It was in 2011 when I traveled to the Polunsky unit just outside the East Texas community of Livingston. John Henry Ramirez's home since being convicted of capital murder in the stabbing death of Pablo Castro, who Ramirez robbed of $1.25 in 2004. Ramirez eluded capture for four years, eventually being found in the valley and arrested in 2008. Tried, found guilty, and sentenced to death the same year, Ramirez at first had said he didn't want any appeals filed on his behalf. Then he had a change of heart, filing one appeal after another, all motions within his rights. During our visits, Ramirez would speak of his childhood, about the difficulties he faced, the hardships. As we wrapped up our last hour visit, I asked him, if he'd thought of the day that he would be executed. I've been a couple of times, I picture myself being strapped to that gurney, and I picture like what I'm gonna say to the victim's family, what I'm gonna say to my family, and then the warning starts the drug administration, and you, you start, you know, you start feeling it, and it starts taking an effect. And every time I do that, oh man, I, I get like anxious, you know, my heart starts racing. Emotional words there. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote, limiting the volume of any prayer so that medical officials can monitor an inmate's condition will be up to the state. Adding, if the advisor is to touch the prisoner, the state might also specify where and for how long. That lone dissent came from Justice Clarence Thomas, saying the court had rewarded litigation gamesmanship, that the nation's highest court granted equitable relief for an abusive and insincere claim filed by a prisoner with an established history of seeking unjustified delay. No date has been set yet for Ramirez's execution.